All right, before we start off this video, I just want to let you know that I have been streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash bank on me YT. No space. I'll put it up on the screen. I, I'll put it up on the screen. I kind of forget. But I have been streaming almost every single day on there. I stream Apex Legends. Uh, every once in a while, I will stream like 2K or Valorant. But it's mainly Apex Legends with my friends, so you know it's a really, really good time. Really, really funny. Just go follow that. I stream almost every single day, and let's get into this video. Alright, what is going on? Welcome back to this Detroit Pistons franchise video. As you can see in the bottom right, we are terrible. We are 13 and 17. Uh, back to back face cam videos. Th this is new. Don't get used to it. Like I said, I only do face cam on Detroit Pistons Minor Leagues, really, and that's it. But, um, my last video, I have been doing every other day. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that up. I might. Because every day is getting a bit too much, to be honest with you. So, I might start doing every other day. I don't know. I'm still contemplating it. Very inconsistent. Don't worry about it. But, um, that last video I uploaded, which was my 500 sub special. Thank you for that, by the way. Be leave a like if you guys do enjoy this video. Subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 this time. Don't know why I'm pointing at you. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So, be sure to subscribe. That video got a lot of support. So, keep it up. So happy. We are back with this Detroit Pistons Mighty League. It's been a pretty long time because I've been focusing on Harold Johnson. But we're back. We are back in the Harold, not the Harold Johnson, in the Detroit Pistons my league. And this is the team at the trade deadline. I am going to make a couple trades. And then we're going to sim, maybe sim cast the game and jump in. And that's going to be it. It's not going to be a long episode. Not going to be a super stacked episode. The next episode, like after this one, since we're not going to be making the playoffs unless the miracle happens, will be a huge episode because it'll be the off season. We're going to go through the entire off season, free agency, the draft lottery and the draft. Because right now I think we're projected the number one pick. So, trade-wise, Taj Gibson, I'm not sure if we just picked him up last episode. Um, I didn't sim anything. We just picked him up, so he might get flipped immediately. I don't know, since we have Christian Wood. Um, Isaiah Thomas is a maybe. He is happy here, so actually, I might keep him. If he's happy, I'm going to keep him. Um, somewhat loyal. He says, I feel happy about the current situation. So, we're actually going to keep Isaiah Thomas. If he wasn't happy, I wasn't going to keep him. But if he's happy, I'm definitely keeping him. He's a leading scorer. He's averaging 21 points. There's no reason to give um to trade him. Um, we do have Jay Rich. He is hurt, so that's terrible. Jeremy Land, he's probably not even gonna play. He might get cut. Um, Isaac Okor, we brought up from the G League. We, did we bring him? Who do we send to the G League? Scotty Lewis. Never mind. We sent Scotty Lewis to the G League, not Isaac Okor and Seiku Dumbia. So that's why we're so bad. So I did sign Dion Waiters. He's gonna get minutes. Sean Livingston is not gonna get minutes. So, really, Sean Livingston, Jeremy Lin, and Taj Gibson were really going to be moving in this video, since we don't need them. So, if we look at our rotation without these guys, so we'll put Christian Wood there, we'll give him no minutes. Because I don't know what I'm going to trade him for, probably like a bag of chips I'll trade him for. These guys aren't going to be in the rotation whatsoever. So, we're going to have Dion there. Hopefully, he can revive his career here in Detroit. He's still, what is he? Oh, he's 20, he's already 29. It doesn't feel like Dion's that already 29. Um, Jay Rich is hurt. Other than that, we really don't have a bench, honestly. We have no bench. We have a backup point guard, kind of. We're going to need a backup power forward, probably. Yeah, probably a backup power forward, backup big. And that's where we're going to trade Taj Gibson. How should we keep Taj Gibson? What's his contract looking like? He's only making 2 mil? Really? I did not know. Yeah, he's only making 2 mil. He's 79 overall. Dodging five and four. We might keep Taj. Taj might be kept. But um contract situation, we have no bad contracts. Um, I am gonna trade Jeremy Lynn. If you don't want to do this trade, I won't do it. It's that simple. Straight up. Okay, they did it straight up. That's fine. They did it straight up, so I'll just get rid of Sean Livingston right now. And that's really and Ed Davis. Not a singular pick, a second round pick of Moses Brown, my name. Okay. I'll take that. Uh, who else was I going to trade? Oh, well, I'm freaking... Ed Davis. Can I get a pick for you? I can get Chris Silva. Chris Silva in a sec. I'm not giving a first round pick! What is the matter with you? For Chris Silva? They all want picks. I'll keep Ed Davis on my team then. Bro, I'm not giving up a first round pick to trade Ed Davis. No. Why would I do that? Dre Rich is obviously going to get minutes. I don't know how many minutes I've been giving. I've been giving him only 29. I'm we'll giving him 32. Taj Gibson is not starting. Christian Wood is. Nero Small is not getting 32 minutes off the bench. 
That is a big hell no. I mean, I don't think I've been giving guys. No, I've been giving him a lot of minutes, actually. All right, here's our starting lineup. Everything's still the same. Um, did I not have scoring options before? I don't think I did. I don't think I had scoring options. So here, actually, do I want scoring options? No, nah, I don't. I don't want scoring options. On the fly lineups. That is not what I want. Where is Isaac Okoro? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Deion Waiters. Uh, I want... No, I just let Yogi Ferrell play. Christian Wood. Don't Taj Gibbs. There we go. There's our bench. All right. That's it for the trade deadline. There's no reason to make any other trades. Let's check award races real quick. All right. MVP is the same. Oh, there's, I was about to say we have no one for rookie of the year, but James Wiseman is there. Six man. No one. Uh, then no, no, not even Isaiah Thomas and most improved. That's just blasphemy. But let's sim. Actually, I'm not going to sim to the end of the season. I should. I mean, there's not much else. We'll sim to the end of the season. We'll sim to the end of the season. We'll probably jump into that game. I'm definitely declining that trade. Um, decline, yes. No, I would not like to make any offers. Warriors, we actually beat. Dion got hurt. We actually beat the Warriors, surprisingly. James Wiseman also got hurt. I hate injuries. We're actually on a three-game winning streak. Three-game win Four-game winning streak we just went on. Yes, I want. I want to see if anyone wants to resign. Um, contract extensions won't resign. You're uneasy. We you mean you're uneasy. You're having a career year here. You're coming back. You're restricted. You're coming back. You're having a career year. Why would you be unsettled? That doesn't make any sense, and we really have no other free agents. I think I'm just going to jump into this Hawks team at the end of the season. Really, we are winning games. I don't want to win games. Thank you for losing. I don't want to win games. I want to be very bad. All right, we're approaching this Hawks team, and we have 22 wins. Once again, someone's hurt. Um, we just got Luke Kennard back. Yep, once again, and you just got hurt again. I don't get it. I don't get it, and you can't change injuries once you've already done it. Yep, we, and Isaiah's hurt. Oh, my God, 2K. Bruh, injuries are on 20. We're starting Deion a point guard. I mean, we got no choice. Jesus Christ, dude. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, 2K. Like, why is everyone getting hurt? Every single player is getting hurt. Yep, now we have Jeremy and Grant 13 minutes going into our last game. Sim with SimCast, but before that, we have 26 wins. Let's check out the stats. Isaiah led the team with 21 points and about 5 assists, shooting terrible percent from the field. But very good from three, 40%. Um, Jay's Wiseman, 17 and 8 with a steal and a block in his rookie season. Actually, very good stats for a rookie. That's like Carl Anthony Towns' rookie stats, just a little bit worse. Luke Kennard averaged just about 17 and 7 assists? Bro, where'd that come from? Okay, he had a career year. Um, Jay Rich, he came into the team averaging, I think, 10 points. Now he's up to 14. Um, only a steal a game. He's shooting very efficient. So, I mean, I'm not sure. Can I check the stats? Let's see. Um, it would be after All-Star, really. So, since All-Star, he's been averaging 15 points for us. With a steal and a block. So, that's actually really good. Really good, Jay Rich. I expect him to develop. He is 27, so he is entering his prime. Um, he's on a very good contract. Dion, 12 points for us. Bad shooting. Um, he was actually solid for us as a starter. Christian Wood... You really disappointed for that 12 mil contract. Only 11 points and 8 rebounds. He hopefully he develops next season and steps up because he had a really bad season. Isaac Okoro had a good rookie season. 10 points off the bench. You know, as well as 7 7 with the block and a steal and a half. Team actually did fairly well, no, record wise, not. But like the players did fairly well. We are on a three game winning streak. Let's end the season on a four game winning streak. Because we had a lot of bright spots. To, I'm not even looking at the camera. We had a lot of bright spots this season. We went on a couple of winning streaks once you made those trades. So let's see. It, we're actually winning. Oh, no. I, I, oh, oh. I'm going to jump into the, this game. I am going to jump into a minute 30 left. We're up by 13. I am going to jump in. Jay Rich has 24 and Luke Kennard has 23. Without Isaiah Thomas, too. They have Demarcus. Trey Young is just playing terrible. Let's jump in. Hopefully, we can get this fourth win in a row to end the season. It's looking good for us so far. Alrighty, we're here in the game on broadcast camera. Yes, that's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, so we got 
the bench in the game, essentially. Uh, almost. Okay, as I'm changing Clint Capella's scores. Dope. They're running a DeMarcus Cousins Clint Capella starting lineup. Alright. Oh yeah, Dion's our start starting point guard because I tease her and he just broke Trey Young's ankles but missed a shot. Epic. Um, Jordan Clarkson's on the Hawks. That's interesting. As he pulls up for that shot. That was dumb. Nerons Noel grabs his only third rebound of the game. Uh, Jay Rich going to the lane. 26 points for Josh Richardson. Let's see if he can actually keep that production up. We're in the number zero. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if the city of Detroit likes drumming that much. I don't know. I'm not a Pistons fan. But we're up by 13 points. Why does this feel so sluggish? Oh, Trey Young's open for three. Dion, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dion? We've made five more three-pointers of them. This is a really good three-point shooting team. So let's see. Let's get a screen from Christian Wood. That was a bad screen, to be honest. But Jay Rich, that was bad. That was bad. That was really, really bad. <laughs> that was really, really bad. I'm not used to this. Oh, John Collins. Bucket. Okay. 40 seconds left. Starters aren't out, so we don't have players like Luke Kennard. Dion, he only has nine points. Go, Dion. Go, Dion. To the rack. Jay Rich brought his guy there. I thought he was open. Dion's open, though. Dion for mid. His shot's so slow, but he hits it. 11 points for Dion. Let's get it. All right. We got 22 seconds left in this game. I know this might be a short episode. I don't know as I'm recording this. But, oh, DeMarcus for three. He missed. I'm not sure if this is going to be a short episode. I think it is. Maybe it'll just hit 10 minutes. I don't know. But we get the starters out here, actually, so that's dope. Luke Kennard, we can get him a couple more points. Give it up to... Or we can turn it over and just, you know, end it. Just end it right there. Oh, Trey Young greens it. Game is over, though. The game is over. James Wiseman, I don't know how much he has. He has 19. Luke Kennard, two seconds left. Pull up jumper, and he drains it. He has 9... 26, 5, and 9. Luke Kennard is an all-around baller in this so far. But we end up winning our final game by 10. We're going to go over the season stats and the awards. Wow. Okay. I mean, the way we ended the season was actually pretty good. Trey Young near had a triple-double. Oh, my God, Dion. 26 for Luke Kennard. 26 for Jay Rich. 19-7-5. Um, just about what he's put up all season for James Wiseman. 13-5 for Christian Wood. 11 points for Dion. 11 for Okoro. 8 for Noel. All around solid game. Now we can see the season awards and the final player stats. And here are the season's awards. Luka Doncic averages a near 31 point triple double and wins MVP like he does every year in 2K simulations. Anthony Edward takes away Rookie of the Year from James Wiseman, which, I mean, fair enough. He actually had better stats than him. He averaged more points, averaged just about the same rebounds, if not more. He had a, he had a, a way better season. Dennis Schroeder, 6 man of the year, averaging 21 points. He's 27 years old. I was about to say, I thought he was like 25, 26, so he could have been a target for us. But no, no, no. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year, 26 points and 3 blocks. Michael Porter Jr., most improved. Definitely should have went to Isaiah Thomas. Definitely should have went to Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah went from 12 points to 21 points. So I think that was a no-brainer. And Brett Brown, Coach of the Year, all NBA. We're not going to have anyone on a any NBA team, I guarantee you. So far, no. Hey, Jimmy Butler, all NBA third team. Let's get, damn, eight rebounds a game, Jimmy. Okay. All defensive first team, no one, and no one. Oh, wait, we're going to get James Wiseman on the all-rookie first team. Well, here's the playoff bracket. Nets got the one siege. Hornets got the eighth. Boston 4, Indiana 5, Milwaukee 3, Atlanta 6, um, Philly 2nd, and Miami 7th. Shouldn't it be like that? Um, LA 1st, and Minnesota 8th. Wow, Minnesota made it back. Memphis 4th, and Utah 5th. Lakers and Warriors, and then Dallas 2nd, Houston 7th. Wow, 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 wow. We'll look at our stats. Um, player stats for us. You already basically saw them. Isaiah Thomas 20. Yeah, James Wiseman. Wow, Anthony Edwards really outplayed you. He averaged more assists than them, though, which is surprising. Luke Kennard, just about 17. Jay Rich, 14. Isaac Okoro, 10 points. Yeah, he was injured, I think. How many games did he play? 
what this is gonna show me. Uh, he played. Oh yeah, he only played 56 games. Yeah, he only played 56 games, so obviously it wasn't gonna happen. Standings wise, the Hawks made it as 38 wins. The Heat made. Wow, the East was trashed. We could have made the playoffs. <laughs> we could have actually made the playoffs this season. 34 wins got you in the playoffs. Wow, 34 wins got you in the playoffs in the East, where 41 made it in the West. That is unbelievable. We were the second worst team in the league. Tied for second worst, actually. Wow, the East was utter trash besides the top five? Yeah, top five. Besides the top five, they were trash. A team with 38 wins should be getting a, a like top 10 pick. 10 to like 13 pick. They, but they're the seventh, sixth seed in the playoffs. Wow, the East. Here's the West. Only two 50 win teams, but other than that, completely balanced. The Kings just missed out. The Nuggets and Blazers missed out, surprisingly. And the Thunder were absolutely atrocious. So we do have the second best odds, tied for second best odds, at the number one pick. You can't check the thing. But I'm going to sim the playoffs next episode i was thinking about doing it this episode but we'll save it to next episode where we'll have the off season so leave a like if you guys didn't enjoy subscribe if you guys are new gg